Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you 10 more items that you can buy from Japan. But today's video is a little bit special because you don't actually have to visit Japan to get these items. Many of you have reached out asking me if there are any reputable websites that you can buy Japanese products from. And today I want to share with you this website called Bai, which is a Japanese proxy service which allows you to access different Japanese websites and stores. You can actually access different Japanese brands, consolidate your order, they will help you store it in their warehouse in Japan before shipping it to you wherever you are with just one shipping fee. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. The first part, I'm going to share with you the 10 items which I think you should definitely check out. And the second part of the video, I will show you how to access the website and how to navigate. It's quite intuitive, but if you want a little bit more details, you, you can stay on. Please use my link below. It will give you 10% off all orders. I do not get any sort of commission from any purchases that you make. Let's get started. The first item to check out is Hidamari socks. Ever since I was a little child, my grandma always tells me that it's so important to keep my feet warm. It helps to promote blood circulation and it just promotes overall good health. So Hidamari socks are very special because it's double layered. It's made up of this material called Danlon, which really helps to trap heat well. But at the same time, it's very permeable. So it doesn't get wet and clammy. It's also said that mountaineers who climb Mount Everest wear Hidamari underwear because it really helps to trap the heat in your body. They also use a deodorant fiber which is antibacterial in nature so it doesn't stink up even when you sweat. So the socks go for about 18 US dollars. It's not exactly the cheapest but it's not super expensive as well and I believe that it's really worthwhile investing in good quality undergarments and socks uh, because they last for a long time. So it's washable and it doesn't lose its shape or elasticity. So this is the first item that you should definitely check out. Well, the second brand to check out is this brand called Kobe Lettuce. This is a very popular Japanese fashion brand amongst women in their 20s and 30s. Um, the different styles available but what I really like is this grey fluffy sweater and because of its texture it can really dress up your outfit. I usually am not comfortable with wearing too many colours. I tend to gravitate towards neutral colours like beige, cream, brown, grey and I think a really easy way to dress up your outfit or to make your outfit more interesting is to mix it with texture and with this grey sweater how I would pair it is with a satin skirt or with jeans you can wear it casually or even dress it up so this is a brand you should check out if you want to access Japanese fashion the third item to check out is Anissa Sunblock Base and Foundation All-in-One. I talked about Anissa in my first Japanese drugstore video and I'm so happy that many of you have tried the product and love it. Um, it's really one of the best sunscreens out there along with Round Lab which is a Korean brand. If you've tried the Anissa Sunblock and if you love it, you might want to check this out because it acts as a UV block, a base and a foundation all in one. So it's very convenient especially if you do not want to layer on different layers on your skin because it might get very cakey. You might want to check out this product because it's multi-purpose. It's also very compact so it's very easy for you to carry it around and to touch up on the go whenever you need. It has an Aqua Booster Beauty Technology where it has sebum absorbing powder which gives you that beautiful finish and at the same time helps to strengthen that protective layer even with sweat and water. So yes, you get skincare and makeup in this one product. This product is going for 3300 yen which works out to about 24 to 25 US dollars. The fourth item to check out is this Transit Gate leather bag. It's a vertical tote and this tote really reminds me of a cross between Moynat and Mansell Gravel. So as you know, Moynat does these vertical totes in grain leather but they go for above 2000 US um, dollars. And it reminds me of Mansell Gravel because of the leather that they use. It's smooth leather as opposed to grain leather. So I really like vertical totes because it looks a lot more fashionable and chic. It's something different from your regular horizontal rectangular totes. It allows you to put things like your water bottle, your umbrella. It has a long handle which lets you strap it around your shoulder. These vertical totes are all handmade and hand sewn and they are made of 100% genuine leather. What I like about it is so its price point is going for about 45 US dollars which I think is very affordable for 100% genuine leather. If you're looking for a tote bag but you do not want to pay exorbitant prices for luxury brand names, I think this is a really affordable luxury that is good quality. The next brand to check out is Glenfield Thomas. These are 
genuine leather all made in Japan. So if you're looking for a gift for your husband or boyfriend, this is a good brand to check out if you want something that's of good quality. But again, if you do not want to pay exorbitant prices for the big brand names. The next brand to check out is this brand called Ares Felina and they do very beautiful pearls. In my last what to buy from Japan video, I talked about the brand Mikimoto. They do one of the best pearls in the world, but yes, their items are quite pricey. If you do not want to pay such exorbitant prices, but you know, still have access to pearls that are very good quality, you may want to check out this brand. They started out as a kimono shop early in the 1970s and now they have expanded to more than 50 stores around Japan. The owner actually took over two companies in Kobe and Fukuyama and because they traditionally used to serve the wedding industry where they do kimonos and pearls, they decided to carry on this tradition and many of their customers have been with them for many years. In many of my videos, I said an easy way to elevate an outfit to look classy and elegant is to use pearls. You can either use a simple pearl necklace or pearl earrings. Check this brand out. Um, it goes for a couple of hundred dollars, but definitely, definitely, I would say 40 to 60% much cheaper than Mikimoto. This is a really good gift um, if you want to treat yourself or your girlfriend, wife, or even mom. The next brand, you would love this if you have pets, especially dogs, is this brand called Miga Candy. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This is a company that has been in Japan for more than 70 years and they make natural toothbrushes for dogs. The hair on the toothbrush is natural. It's made out of horse hair and it's supposedly more effective in removing pluck from your pet's mouth. This toothbrush was actually designed by a vet. It has very, very good reviews and they have very loyal customers for many years. They have different variations of toothbrush. You can get one with finer hair which is softer or the version with much stiffer hair which is harder. This is going for about 20 US dollars and I saw that on Amazon it's going for about 200 dollars so the price difference is insane. And I think what's great about Bai is that you're able to get very very good prices as if you were there in Japan itself but you don't have to travel there so you save on air ticket and accommodation. The next item is the Hatomogi Moisturizing Gel. You would probably have seen this in many people's videos. Um, this is a very popular drugstore brand. And what I love about this is the gel is very lightweight. So what I like to use it for is if I'm going out to exercise and I don't want to, to layer on very expensive skincare, this is something that I use. It's also good for those of you who have oily skin and you don't want something super rich on your skin. It's very lightweight in its texture. If you're looking for a Japanese gel moisturizer, this is something to check out. The next item would be Japanese footwear. I fell in love with this pair of espadrilles. It really gives me Japanese mom vibes. Um, it looks very edgy, chic and fashionable and I think that this is something that you can really wear with your summer dresses or even jeans when you're out running errands. Unfortunately, when I went back to my shopping cart, it's no longer available. But let me try to see if I can find any other comparable shoes. You can also check out the Bayi website itself where there are a lot of different variations of footwear. And the very last item is a Bizak brush. So this is a shoe shine brush. It's made of natural pig hair and it's so affordable. This is only going for about three US dollars. I love these kind of small things that you can have at home that I made in Japan because they're so affordable and super good quality and they last for a long time. Now I'll move on to the second part of the video where I'll show you how to navigate and how you can buy these items. So once you have used the affiliate link to sign up for an account, you can log into Baiyi itself and you see that Baiyi gives you access to a whole lot of shopping sites. You have the regular Yahoo, eBay, but you also have access to different fashion brands. So you see that there's Aries Valina here, which I talked about, Glenfield, Hidamari and Kobe Lettuce. And you also have access to stores in the toys and games genre, entertainment, sports and outdoors, indoor, home decor, household essentials, health and beauty, and even food and drinks. You can browse along to see what interests you, but here I'm going to use Hidamari as an example. I've clicked on it, and here I've selected the pair of socks which I talked about. You can also change the language above to English if that's easier for you. I've selected the color that I want and the size that I want, and then I've added it to shopping cart. Once you're done with your shopping, you can click on the cart icon to see everything you have added. Once you have paid for your product, you can click on the orders page to track the status of each order. 
Once everything has arrived at the warehouse, you can consolidate and have just one single shipping fee. For shipping, there are so many options available and for me, I've just chosen the cheapest option. Make your payment and you're good to go. In terms of what you pay for, there is of course the cost of the product that you have just shopped for. There's also a service fee of 300 Japanese yen or 2 US dollars per purchase. This is one of the cheapest out there in the market. And then there's also shipping fees. This is dependent on the overall weight of all your shopping and Bayi will provide you with different options like what you have seen earlier. For me, I usually just choose the cheapest option. Then there are also additional optional costs. So number four, you can top for additional insurance or inspection and that is three to five dollars per purchase and you can also top up for additional packaging especially if you have bought fragile items. I was really happy to find out about Baiyi. In short, you can really buy made in Japan products without flying all the way there to Japan and get your hands on some really good quality products. There is only a $2 fee per purchase and you just have to pay for overall shipping, which I think is really reasonable. I've come to the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. I would really appreciate it if you could like this video and share this with your friends. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.